you automatically think the worst. Sarcoma is a very, very aggressive cancer, but I had to be strong. My wife noticed a lump on my back. It was our anniversary and, you know, being a smart gentleman, I, uh, I listened to my wife and we got to the doctor real quick. Within two and a half weeks of noticing a bump, it was three inches across. Sarcoma is uh, one of the rarest of the cancers of, of malignancies. There are only 15,000 patients in the United States that are diagnosed this, with this disease annually. I do live a distance away. Someone was in town who biopsied it and uh, gave me the, the best advice I've ever had, and that was to come to Moffitt Cancer Center. We went through doing uh, the external beam radiation. Uh, what had happened is it grew back. That's when we knew, and that was truly in my mind when I knew I needed to come see Moffitt Cancer Center. We went ahead and went to surgery and removed the cancer, and we uh, employed some novel techniques to try to treat the area. Only recently have we started to see real breakthroughs in the uh, treatments related to immunotherapy and drug discovery, much of which is being done at our center. He started his treatment and the disease did sometimes what the disease can do. It decided to go a different direction despite our best efforts. It had come back in my lung and we elected to do chemotherapy, a long, arduous process. It, you know, it was tough and uh, we made it through. We're here and uh, I'm happy and healthy. And while not everyone is cured, you know, the, the impact of every patient drives our initiative to, to work harder, to make it so that the next person that we see hopefully has a better chance. Scott Ruby is a wonderful man. I'm, I've had the privilege of watching his kids grow up. Very warm person Dr. Gonzalez is, and I'd never met anybody quite like him. Real special. Every patient shares their courage in different ways. And all of them, all of them make it so that I really don't come to work when I show up. I'm just ready to do what I need to do to help them get through it.